Hey guys, it's a different time of day than when I usually do seed time. The sun is actually going down behind me and I would say this is probably my most favorite time of day on the farm. Things quiet down and life slows down and the animals go to the barn and they get their supper and they relax and get ready for bedtime. And then Pluto does his job by being out and protecting. It made me think about the story that we're going to be talking about this week in Scripture that's getting us ready for Easter. Today we're going to be talking about the night when Jesus and his disciples gathered together to have a meal. And it was called the Last Supper. And then Jesus took some time to pray. So watch with me as we watch this short video clip about the Last Supper and when Jesus prayed. Stories of the Bible. Jesus prays. This is Jesus. Hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey gosh. And even raised people from the dead. Wahoo! At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses, when God brought his people out of Egypt. Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate, and Jesus and his disciples were having the Passover meal together. Jesus told them many things of what was to come and the trials they would face. Then Jesus looked up to heaven and prayed for himself, saying, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son so he can give glory back to you. I brought glory to you here on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. Now, Father, bring me into the glory we shared before the world began. Then Jesus prayed for his disciples and said, I have passed on to them the message you gave me. They accepted it and know that I came from you, and they believe you sent me. He prayed for his disciples who would be staying in the world after Jesus went to heaven. He asked God to keep them safe from the evil one and to make them holy. Then Jesus prayed for all the people who would come to believe in God because of the message that the disciples would tell. He prayed for people of all time, even to this day. He prayed that followers of Jesus would be united so that the world would believe that God sent Jesus to die for their sins so that everyone could be with God forever. I hope you enjoyed the video. This part of the Easter story is very close to when Jesus is going to go to the cross. And he wanted to spend some time with his disciples. And he wanted to spend some time with his God. He wanted to pray and spend some time in prayer. So tonight, as you prepare for bed, I want you to spend some time talking to God too. Say your prayers before you go to bed. So as we slow down here on the farm tonight and get ready for bed, I will say instead of have a good day, I'll say have a good evening. And I'll see you next time.